Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, di, 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 la, do, do, do. Oh, hey, what's going on, guys? I hope you're doing good out there. We're back at the mill today, and we're gonna be doing another little video. I got some sketches set up. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Today, we're gonna be doing Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. He's the, uh, you're already dead guy. You've probably seen that meme floating around. But anyways, we're gonna be doing him. I, it's For me, that's like the classic uh, vintage 80s anime style that I like. And uh, I think it flows well with the graffiti look. So we're gonna be doing a portrait of him, this one in particular. This will be a lot of fun. So we're gonna be doing Kinshiro. Uh, he's gonna have like the dark eyes, the real sullen look. And if you're familiar with him, he's got that real rugged looking jaw. Great series, actually. If, if you wanna watch something very entertaining, as a guy in particular, my wife doesn't like it, but <laughs> you would love it. Great show, great character. He will teach you everything you need to know about becoming a man. <laughs> but he's a great character. So we're gonna go ahead and get painting with him today. Right now I'm sketching it out and I'm using transparent black Molotov. On a lighter surface like this, I find it works really good. You could use the Walmart black, it's pretty transparent as well too. But it just gives you an, a, a very, uh, a not too opaque line that you can use to start setting up your stuff. And then we'll start painting by color. So let me go ahead and get him laid out real quick and we'll get to the next step. I'll see you guys soon. All right, this works out perfect for me actually because we got so much Sahara beige in here. So I'm just gonna go back with it. I'm gonna use that as my base color for his skin tone. It'll save me some time too as I'm doing this. So we'll go ahead and start lacing that in. I'll probably use a couple other shades too because he's got, he's got like a three tone facial features here. Let's go ahead and just lace this in real quick. Whew, going over that blue is not easy. One tough blue there. Anyways, let's go, let's go ahead and get this filled in. And I'm using the level three cap, by the way. Great cap. All right, dope, that went in nice and easily, integrated well into it because we already had it as the base coat. Thinking ahead here, you feel me? But uh, that was Sahara beige, by the way, Sahara beige, just to make sure I got that right. Sometimes I make a mistake. I know, hard to believe, right? I make a lot of mistakes. <laughs> but anyways, that went down nicely. We're able to cover over the other stuff. Now we're moving on to the next step. I got some gray beige and the flame blue. Now his, his tone is three shades of brown, but I actually only brought two with me on this trip. So we're just gonna have to make do, but his face is gonna have a bit of a shadow to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start lacing that in. And this is a really, really nice shade of brown. I like using it for this type of stuff. Kind of a taupe, a taupe gray. All right, let's go ahead and start locking in the shadow right now. All right guys, it's coming out really good. It, it's really starting to look like him now. Although I, I'm a little bit worried because I'm kind of short. I'm a short guy. Got them short Cuban legs, you feel me? But so I might need a little help from my homie to finish up the top. But what we're doing right now is we're lacing in the hair. And I'm using a Burner 600 Black. Check this stuff out. It's perfect for fading in the hair. Look at that. Beautiful. Easy as pie. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get that laced in. That way I can fill it in with the, with the beige right there. And then I'll move on to the next step. See you guys there. I wish I had an, ex an extra shade of brown to really give it more dimension, but now that I'm looking at it, it's kind of cool with just the two-tone, you know what I mean? It's kind of, kind of deconstructed it a little bit. So that's actually kind of dope, and it really looks like them, which I'm very happy about. Um, if it didn't look like them, it would be kind of a failure, I guess. But <laughs> it's coming along pretty good. I can't wait to put in the eyes. Uh, I'm going to do the... <laughs> There's this kind of look that he gives after he tells someone they're already dead. And, he, and his eyebrows are really big and his eyes are dark. There's really no de depth to them. It's just... Well, it's all depth. It's just all going to be blacked out. You'll see what I mean. Um, if you look up uh, some, of the, some of the videos, just, just Google you're already dead. 
You'll know what I'm talking about if you haven't seen it. But anyways, let's go ahead and start filling in our background. I got some of this uh, cherry dark in the flame orange. And this is a great color for just filling in a large area. So let's get cracking. Man, I love this cherry dark. Look at it go. Oh man, it just goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes and goes. Yes, put on a respirator, I know. It goes and it goes and it goes and it goes and it goes, baby. When it stops, nobody knows. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. All right, it's coming up pretty good. Why don't we go ahead and start lacing in the eyes? Like I said, uh, they are dark and stormy looking. Because remember, this is, this is after he inflicts the whoop ass on a fool. You know what I'm saying? This is after the fact, when they don't realize that they're already dead. So he has a very uh, morose look on his face because he knows the gravity of things. You know what I'm saying? Kenshiro understands reality. He does what he has to do, but he does it with great, with a heavy heart. <laughs> oh, I'm going listen in right there. Like I said, it's just blacked out like that. Let's try this little booster here. I don't know if it's gonna work. <clears throat> oh, forgot my respirator. Makes for good video. Ghetto blaster cap right now. I think that's gonna give me the reach that I need to get this up. Just to round it off, you know what I'm saying? That ghetto blaster reaches. All right, guys, here comes my favorite part, the catchphrase that Kinshiro is very famous for. So let's drop it in. Oh yeah. All right guys, there's Kenshiro in all his glory, being very morose, of course. But I gotta tell you, man, it came out really good. I'm very happy with it. I had a good time painting it. And it is tall. Do you see how tall that is? It's about nine and a half feet high. That's a big ass Kenshiro. But, you know, I gotta tell you, I had a really fun time painting this. This kind of style is really where I like to be. So if you guys wanna see more 80s anime or any of that type of stuff, definitely make a comment below. Tell me who you wanna see, what you wanna see, how you wanna see it portrayed, and I'll be more than happy to paint it for you because this was so fun for me. This was so fun. You know, it's, it's interesting because when I was a kid, this, this style of art really influenced me and I think a lot of people's graffiti, you know what I'm saying? And uh, when you look at it, you can see why. You know, it's very graffiti-esque. And, uh, I gotta give it up to him, man. Kinshiro is the band. So anyways, that's it for this video. We did it, we did a quick little character and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making the video. And always remember, please subscribe, please like the videos, please comment below, tell me what you wanna see, what you like, what you don't like. You know, I'll always respond to you guys. I'm always open to hear what you have to say. 
I am the most open-minded graffiti guy you'll ever meet. So tell me what you think, what you want to see, and we'll do it in another video. All right, guys, this is it. I'll see you guys later. Peace. お前はもう死んでいる。ほだき。勝負はまだ。あ、な、な。ひでぶ。<笑>